It's that time of year once again. The shadows grow a little deeper, the nights a little longer. The boundaries between waking and dreaming fray and let the nightmares come slithering in. It is the month that should not be. This Halloween, we've got a game that blends horror with steampunk to create a unique and stylish setting. Without any further ado, let's step into the shadowy streets of Malifaux in Through the Breach. Through the Breach is based off the miniature war game Malifaux. It's set in a city built by colonists just on the other side of a parallel dimension. When Earth's magic waned, the world's magicians spent the last of their power to rip open the eponymous Breach. Beyond it was a world where etheric energies were concentrated in the form of soul stones. When the smoke cleared, a ruthless faction called the Guild had seized absolute control of the city of Malifaux and the soul stone supply. Not everyone took this lying down, however, and soon the Guild found itself dealing with dissidents of every description. If that weren't enough, the original inhabitants of Malifaux, the Neverborn, may not be quite flesh and blood anymore, but they're still around. Resentful of humanity's presence in their world, the Neverborn lurk in the shadows of the city's streets, waiting for their chance. What we're trying to say is, welcome to Malifaux. Bad things happen here. Like the Iron Kingdoms RPG we covered some time ago, Through the Breach's system is based heavily on the war game that spawned it. The game uses a Fate deck, which can be purchased from weird miniatures or approximated with a regular poker deck, to adjudicate success and failure. To resolve an action, a card is flipped and its value added to a character's aspect and skill ratings. The result is then compared to the action's difficulty. If you don't have quite the luck to pull it off, each player also has a twist deck and a hand of cards that can be used to cheat fate on critical actions. The Fate Master in Through the Breach doesn't actually flip any cards. Instead, the antagonists have static values that must be defended against overcome or resisted. Player characters are created using a spread of cards called a Crossroads Tarot, which gives the player a number of traits to allocate to aspects and skills. The Crossroads Tarot also splices together a cryptic, wildly interpretable fate that the character will resolve as the game goes on. Characters can take on the role of a variety of pursuits. From academic to mercenary to grave robber, these are a bit like character classes but far less restrictive. A character can switch pursuits freely from game session to game session. The world of Malifaux is also saturated with magic, and players might choose to dabble in sorcery or use necromancy or steampunk arcane engineering to animate undead or constructs to loose on their enemies. Magic in Through the Breach is based on the idea of choosing a base spell, called a magia, and then applying modifiers called immuto. A player willing to get creative here can achieve some very impressive effects. Even non-magician characters sometimes absorb enough ambient energy to develop supernatural abilities. These manifest powers are built as customized spell effects and are unique to each character. So what are you waiting for? Malifaux has plenty of secrets to learn and mysteries to solve. It's time to see what fate has in store. For you. You've each received a letter from a Mr. Silas Wainwright. You've never heard of him, but he seems to know an awful lot about you. And to have an awful lot of money. Seems he has a little situation he needs handled. The tight wording of the missive leaves you with the impression that a big part of your fee will be for showing the proper discretion. But the gist is that there's a certain book that he wants you to acquire. You make your way to the address he specified, a warehouse on the edge of the Howling Slums, uncertain as to what awaits you. You're first greeted by an awful stench of death, but soon the feeble light of your lantern reveals the corpses of a couple dozen people, all covered in ragged wounds. They look as though they were all mauled to death by some savage beast. I don't like it. It's right unsettling, it is. I must say, it's rather a shame to just leave them to waste. A bit sharp one granted, but still. Creepy. We've all seen corpses. No, Squire. You. Oh, creepy. To ask at hand, gents, I don't figure these good folks took the book that Master Wainwright is proper worried for. Something moves. Something large and powerful. Something with eyes that burn like lanterns in the dark. Your guess is that Wainwright's reference to the fell beast that seeks his downfall was more than just poetry. I bring my hands to Coley Shanga! You hit, releasing a wispy spray of smoking blood that clots the air with seething unnaturalness. Unfortunately, it doesn't even slow down. Eight of tomes, thirteen of rams, three of masks... Might just be me, but methinks we're losing now. Might be time to answer the whisper. Well, somebody's got a batty fang the bloody devil. I might as well be throwing chats. Uh, the difficulty on that's gonna be a fifteen. Well, so much for that. Not enough love. Could you still do the reduced AP thing to cast it again? Sure, but it'll add five to the difficulty, which is already really high. Just do it, you bloody nonce! The bloody thing's about to put us in the lavender! 
No reason not to try, but it'll only work if I draw that. Huzzah! Well, that's lucky. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd think maybe you were counting cards on me. Let's just say that I'm keeping track of things. Uh, you are aware that that's cheating, right? I believe the term that you're looking for is being awesome. Whatever. The corpses begin to moan and rise to their feet. Soon the monster is swarmed under by the hungry dead and ripped limb from limb by the rotting claws of its former victims. Right then, no need to interrupt their little reunion. We've got the book and we probably shouldn't linger. If my watch is to be trusted, we only have a minute before my spell lapses. So what? The monster is dead, so when the zombies keel over, we can be about our merry way. No, you burk! When the spell ends, I lose control of them and they carry on with no concern for my will or well-being. Well, let's just bang up the elephant, isn't it? They're gonna proper nobble our insidey bits. And that's the important bits, mind. Don't worry, we'll just leave that door to the alley open, go through the offices and lock everything behind us. They'll wander out the back, we'll go out the front, and nary we meet between. You're fit to make a stuffed bird laugh, you know it? What happens those Krugers get to Mafeki? They'll have the town for an osh. This is exactly why death marshals get paid large. Besides, I'll treat the survivors. I am a doctor, remember? Wow. Well, thank God for that Hippocratic oath then, eh? I'm not a monster, you know. I'll even offer them a discount. Half price. Our, our oh, Halloween ever. set this year, this uh, this whole spooky backdrop is real. Like last time we we got this done, we did a we did a green screen. And this year we're here in a, in a really real spooky ass creep barn. It's where the- By chickens. It's where the orphans <laughs> used to sleep <laughs> with the hens. God. They would often peck them in the night. Come. I actually had more fun creating a character for Through the Breach than I have in character creation in a long time. I yeah. really liked the cards, I really liked the phrases, I really liked arranging them and making my own prophecy from it. Like, that's just really cool. Yeah, that was super cool. I love putting out the tarot cards and then you get the thing where it has the different uh, bits of a prophecy, like uh, the skeleton's v vagina will scrape across the tomorrow's that must be in one of the supplements. I don't, I don't think I've heard that one. Yeah, but see that one? That God. might have been because we use Cards Against Humanity instead of the Malifaux Fate. Shut up! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which uh, it, it is a neat part of I, it is a neat part of the, the character. Don't system. even have a vagina. Well, not story. with that attitude. Yeah. So one thing I will say about this game: I've seen games use playing cards before. Yeah. But I don't think I've ever seen one make use of it this well. The triggered abilities that they they. Uh, they take effect if, if a particular suit is drawn yeah, that's beyond cool. the numerical value of the card. I, I like that. I like that. It's almost like a critical effect, but you can control it to some extent because right. you can throw stuff in with your twist deck. The game is fairly lethal. Though. Yeah, that's very important. Um, we had a character in our in our playtest with four wounds. Yeah, yeah. And, Actually, that's me. Which is moderate. Yeah, which is moderate damage for a pistol. That isn't a death sentence, but. It's not good. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not particularly. It's yeah. not you something want it. that you want to yeah. do on a regular basis. It doesn't instantly take you out of the fight. It a strong your indication. Day a it's, bit. it's Malifaux's way of saying slow down. I was just saying the point is it's, it's lethal. Yeah. You have to be careful if you're not specifically built to take it. Uh, yeah, I would recommend this game though. Definitely, definitely give it's it a super play. Cool. Oh, I guess the recommendation I will give through the breach is that I put money into buying everything for it because everything I've seen from Weird Miniatures has been pretty good quality, and I wasn't disappointed. So yes, I would recommend picking up a copy of Through the Breach. I keep looking at the um, the view screen mm. and expecting to see something peeking around that door. Yeah, let's yeah. quit. Turn it off. We're done. Right, Malifaux's well, we great. It. You should play it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching our special spooky Halloween edition this year. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, click that spooky, scary subscribe button. We're just getting now covered. Now we got two of them. We're getting covered with cats Yay! now. Getting ridiculous. <laughs> No. Um, oh my so dreams so join are us. coming true. Yeah. <laughs> join, uh, yeah, so click, uh, click a link, check out one of our other reviews, hit subscribe, hit like, uh, stick around because space, space, space battle is a game based off Star Crash. I would play that game. <laughs> you would play Star I Crash? I would utterly play that game. <laughs> Come to me, Gola! I would, be a, I would be a plucky alien from Nine Vega. Well, that was a ream flash poll if I ever kenned it. Thought sure we'd be nibbed, but now it's Song of the Rosas. Let's say we go partake of a proper titan and a bit of a lush. Okay, so I'm just gonna come out and ask, do you two understand him? Like, at all? Out every fourth word or so. I believe he wants to get dinner, and possibly also drunk. <sighs> okay, I thought it was just me.